Tsushima. The Khan is dead, but his army is still here. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. A strong warrior. Bring hope to our people. Fear to the Mongols. And be hunted by samurai. If anyone can change a samurai's mind, it's you. Keep fighting. said another would come. Sequel confirmed? We can't stay here long. My uncle will come looking for us. No, he won't. After the battle, he sent a messenger. Did he offer to make peace? He wants to meet you by the still waters under the red-leafed tree. Omi Lake. We used to spar there when I was a child. Oh, shit. Want company? I need to face him alone. He's my only family. I know. It still hurts, thinking about Taka. The smell of smoke in his hair. His quiet laugh. The hell he'd give me for drinking too much. My whole life, he was part of me. And... And now... I'm alone. You're not alone. You have me. A ghost. You belong to everyone. Damn. We fucking did it. We killed the Khan. Can't even level up anymore. I wonder why it gives you- why do I have one point in particular, even though I have nothing to put it in? Just one point. Stuck on the point. Hmm. <gasps> One point for honor. I don't know if this game's doing DLC. I, I have a feeling this might be a God of War style where it's one off done. Oh, the fall in this game, man. It's so pretty. I actually like the setting of Act 1 and 2 better than Act 3. I usually love the snow in video games, but this game's... Oh my god. This game, the way the fall is and the first act, beautiful, dude. Fucking beautiful. I think it's just because the colors of the flowers and the trees are just so good. Kage and Kaze. I don't think Kage would mind if I rode around with Kaze. Lord Shimura isn't here. I'll wait for him on the dock. Stay here, Kaze. <coughs> oh, shit. Just making so sure my, uh, Sword hand still worked. Ugh.
Whoa. Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. Whoa. As of today, you are no longer samurai. I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. I have to say goodbye to my home. Ride with me. Tale of Lord Shimura. What's weird is how like we changed attire like before the cutscene. It's kind of weird. I guess we're considered a Ronin now. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Ronin armor. Sick. Will you remain in store of Tsushima? Yes. The Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. A task I hoped we would face together, as father and son. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Hold. Chat, your immersion is fine. Just hold. I'm doing this for the plebs. Like he could use a push. Here, let us help you. No, no trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. He's stuck. Speak with the peasant. You are much too kind. The mud is sicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? They'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Huh? Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Oh, shit. I got you. Here we go.
Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud and the Mongols. I will. Dude, sequel in Mongolia. Holy shit, that'd be incredible. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about, by the way? Aze, let's move. <laughs> I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. <laughs> What makes you think your followers will obey you? Shit. <laughs> You're kinda right. But the Khan's dead. Throw the Shogun. I don't know if that's the correct play. That's enough riding. Walk with me, Jin. As you wish. This is where my dad was buried. My family's cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai, including your mother and my father. We must pay our respects. this so will I the shogun has declared you a traitor what he ordered you to kill me <gasps> the ghost was an outlaw he taught our people to defy their leaders to defend themselves with poison a gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And no. you are a slave to it. But you are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. What? I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Taking it is my punishment. words of Clan Sakai and Clan Shimura.
hands that shape the world. Strength in every step. Eyes that saw my pain. Strength in every step. Destiny divides our souls. A bond broken forever. A fate neither of us want. Destiny divides our souls. Will death redeem us? I fight without hope. This is where we part. Strength in every step. Destiny divides our souls. This is where we part. Damn, dude. will always be with you. Yes, uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son.
fight, there's tears in my eyes. I can't see. I can't feel the shogun. The wounds dealt my spirit. We never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. I don't want to hurt you. You want revenge? You are failure. This is not my revenge. It is my trap. I don't like this choice right now. Do I honor him and kill him? The guy's all about honor. This would be disrespectful. Sparing him. He's my uncle, man. You don't have honor. You're right, I'm not like him.
art, dude. This theme music for the game has been really good. You hear this tune throughout the whole game. I do want to look at the other ending. I would say we're we're not done with the year, but I would say definitely my game of the year so far. I remember looking forward to this game but skeptical at what they showed, but... This game hit an itch. Like, growing up, loving Roroni Kenshin. And just, like, Samurais. I feel like the devs tried really hard to capture that, like, the, that feeling, and they, and they pulled it off, you know? The game did have some issues. It's not perfect. But I feel like this is such a good game, man. Soundtrack, voice acting, graphics, gameplay. All were so damn good, dude. Characters were pretty awesome. This this game is weird though because they they played it. You could clearly see like I feel like they played it safe in so many areas in this game. Almost like they didn't want to go too far, or like they didn't want to go too ham, but. If they did, this game would be an absolute 10 out of 10 throughout, but wow, man, what a, what a fucking good game, dude. This is probably one of the most, I feel like in an open world game, the map is something in every open world game that you are like fucking stuck on always opening your map and looking at. That is one of the things that you always do in an open world game. And this game has one of the best maps in terms of like flow, menu flow, boom boom, trying to get to your destination and just like fully showing you exactly what to do with simple and not needing so much text in your face. Just like, this is the type of shit you need in an open world game, especially when a map and the menu is such a big deal. Crazy, dude. No mini-map required. One of the best UIs I've seen in a video game, honestly. And it's like, they had no UI. Exactly. 
I feel like these devs knew that they had an extremely beautiful game, and they showed it off so fucking well. And like, every single UI element was clean, tucked away in the perfect moments, and was just like, damn, like, you want to look at the game. And they pulled that shit off. I don't think I've ever really had- I've had games where, you know, you kind of look off and you're like, wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Like how the devs were able to, uh... One second. So, um, like, this game, 100%, you can point out its issues, but, wow, did they pull off, like, an absolutely incredible game for a new IP? Like, goddamn, bro. Honestly, and an IP to finish off the PlayStation 4? Fucking crazy, dude. Like this is a, this is a game that is like, wow. Like this is how you fucking close the curtains on your PlayStation 4. This right here. And this can't be a game that's just forgotten on the PS4, man. This is a game I fucking hope they'd make a sequel. I feel like the ending was very Batman-like. They'll hunt you. Who knows, maybe in the sequel, if it, if they do a sequel, who knows, maybe if uh, the samurai come after you, you don't really kill them, you incapacitate them. Mongols, you kill. Maybe he does some shit like that. He's in red now. Lady Masako lost everything and everyone. Oh, these are all the bandits. If she can keep moving forward, so can I. I lived under these banners most of my life. I don't think this sword th is it. Is this the Sakai sword? I actually have three swords on me now. Whoa. Wait, do, do I have three swords? I have three swords now. Before it was two swords. I guess this is my shack I live in now. Look on the table. I am looking at the table. The twin mountains of Clan Sakai. I won't let my family fade from memory. Oh yeah, there is a car. What the hell? Horizon Zero Dawn. There's an orc. Oh, these are all dev stuff, like, uh, little things. Yeah, why is there a car? Oh my god, I even noticed that. Isn't this Shimura's armor? Hope you find peace, uncle. What is the uncle gonna say that I got away? Yuriko helped me pick these for my mother. I can't believe she kept them all these years. <sighs> Tomoe didn't need this anymore. The bow. I hope she found what she was seeking. She went to Kyoto. Jin Sakai is hereby an official student of Sensei Sadanobu Ishikawa. What have I gotten myself into? Damn. Poster on the wall. First the Mongols, 
Now the Shogun. Never imagined I'd be so popular. Nurio promised he'd teach me to play the Horagai, so we can signal each other across the island. For most of my life, I dreamed of being your son. Damn. Yuna's knife. The blade's dull. Can't believe it's still in one piece. The flow of the cloak is kind of sick. Oh, the shadow of Colossus. Yeah. You were faithful to the end, Kage. Oh, no. Kage, man. His saddle, bro. Smells almost sweet, but it's as deadly as any blade. Kage, dude. How long did it take Yuna to make this? I owe her everything. She's the one giving me gifts. Kenji's best. Kenji. Or so he tells me. I'll have to share it soon. Oh yeah, the straw hat. Ryuzo. You should be here, Ryuzo. Trading stories. Getting drunk. Damn, poor Ryuzo. I mean, nah, he kind of deserved it, though. I used to think I only needed a horse, a bow, and my katana. <clears throat> we have a bunch of smoke nades and everything now. The hook from Taka. Taka's trial run, before he made my grappling hook. He didn't want to disappoint me. And he never did. He never did. Leaves. Fallen at my family cemetery. Beautiful. Even in death. Damn, man. I think we hit everything. Kaze. Jin. Oh. I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do, now that Clan Saka is gone. And I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. Will he come for us? I don't think so. But sooner or later, someone will. What matters is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here. More desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Just don't forget. Tsushima needs you. I'll never forget that. Good. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the Mongols from all sides. Take back our home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, you know. You too. <laughs> Traditions end. Damn, man. What a game, bro. What did I miss? There's a bunch to liberate up north, and I missed one in Act Two. How do you know how? How do you know when you earn the? Uh, Wait, Vanity Gear? 28 out of 59? Pillars of Honor? Haikus, Bamboo Strikes, Shinto Shrines? I'm so close. I, I hit all the duels. There's so much Vanity Gear. 10, 3, 5, 3, 3, 3. So close, man. Should I 100% tomorrow? I mean, I've never been this close in a game before, I think. I feel like I should. 
This would it wouldn't take that long to liberate everything and get everything. It's actually pretty fast. <sighs> Dude, what a game, man. Like, all right, I know everyone loves talking about the flaws, so I would say the flaws of the game, more enemy variation. Some of the transition, the cutscene transitions were kind of funky at times. I feel like, you know, when you come from The Last of Us and, the, and God of War, like, I don't remember crazy funky transitions. That was definitely a problem. AI, definitely at times. The camera was kind of fidgety at times. The main thing is the fact that this game didn't have lock-on, so you had more control over the camera, and sometimes the camera just didn't really follow you very well. Um... Those were definitely glaring issues. The combat, you got your... Oh, the combat was fucking awesome, man. I feel like they did such a good job. Uh, I would say the boss fights. I wish the boss fights were a bit cooler the way uh, they did it. It did seem like they were all kind of the same in a way. Just dis different variations of blocking and rolling. Um, what armor is this? Go oh, this is fully upgraded ghost armor. Yeah, this is fully upgraded ghost. Um, <clears throat> but, um, a harder difficulty? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, yeah, harder bosses, better, cooler Mongols to fight that had better variation. Less, more voice lines over just the show throughout the whole game. Like, I feel like they could have, you know, maybe done some other stuff like when they got scared said stuff about the ghost or like oh my god the ghost is here and they ran in fear or something like that there's like subtle things like that like yeah definitely there's so much room for improvement yes but what they have was fucking awesome man only one weapon well you're a samurai so it kind of makes sense it's not like you ever- you don't get bored of killing in this game. You don't get bored of the katanas in this game. At all. I feel like the bow was really OP. The half bow was insanely OP. You could probably beat the whole game with that shit. Uh, the story was okay. I don't think the story was crazy. The investigating part was sometimes kind of annoying. I'm not a huge fan of the whole investigating thing. I never liked it in The Witcher. I'm, I wasn't a huge fan of it in this game, but it's something you can kind of like pass over. Like, oh, well, you got to kind of figure out what happened in this case. Uh, the story wasn't the... Gr like, the story was okay. Uh, some of the stories were good. The gist of the story, obviously, you're trying to get everyone together, together to defeat the Khan. I get it. I thought the villain, he wasn't as cool. He looked cooler when they announced the game. Koten Khan what, didn't live up to how cool he was. He was kind of a fuck at the end. I thought he was going to be way cooler. So, like, he wasn't that intimidating. He just, like, literally had a couple of scenes where he just said some shit. Like, it was like, okay, dude. But... The, I will say Jin's progression was the best. The way Jin became who he was was definitely really, really cool. Um, but yo, man, this is a fucking great game. Like, holy shit, man. Definitely a really good game. It's like, what's crazy is a lot of the flaws in this game, I feel like are like fixable type shit it's not like oh my god you're stuck with this shit the whole fucking game it sucks like a lot of that stuff is so fixable and something that is they can they can improve on so easily kind of that would make this game way better even though it's already really good so uh, yeah, man. It's weird, dude. And oh my god, bro. Like, one open world game, like, one of the best fucking maps and easy to read and figure out shit. And the fact that you can fast travel everywhere and just like... 
Oh, the wind, the way you do stuff with the shrines, the pillars of honor. Oh, that is so fucking good, dude. They did such a good job with that shit, man. So damn good, bro. I would give it a solid, like, 9 out of 10. And that one point is just because of everything we discussed. That one fucking point. I don't know how people said it. I heard some people say it was an empty map. Are you fucking kidding me? Empty map? It, it's not really an empty map. The whole game when you're walking through or just going around on your horse, there's so much eye candy to look at as you travel to your destinations that it's like, it's not supposed to be infested with a bunch of bullshit. I feel like the island of Tsushima is the filler they want you to look and be like holy shit dude look at all the colors and the the way they're able to bring the flowers the color of the flowers and mesh it with the trees and uh the environment and the weather and everything and how you can experience that while you're trying to travel to your destination like what do you what the fuck do you want to do get stopped every two seconds on your horse to talk to a motherfucker you don't want to do that the emptiness is there so you can appreciate the running and the horseback riding through and the beautiful, like, paths of trees and seeing the fall leaves drop and shit like that. Like, that is exactly what it is, man. I didn't feel that way at all, actually. I didn't feel like it was... the It wasn't too cluttered. You don't want so much clutter. This was a perfect mix of shit to do slash always appreciates. Like, you can stop and appreciate and be like, holy fuck, that is so well done. The way, like, the, I don't know, like, the Buddha statue is with the flowers, and, like, there's a reason why the photo mode can be used so much in this game. But, I know the other thing, like, you know, you start, the peasants all did look the same as well. All, a lot of the peasants were, I swear to God, sometimes the same person. Uh, like, stuff like that they could change or improve on, but that didn't really, you know, even God of War, even though God of War was so fucking good, all the trolls, all the troll bosses were essentially the same in God of War. Which is something they could have been done way cooler on or something, made it way more unique, every single troll you see would be way cooler. Like, God of War had its fucking, uh, flaws as well. Best character, Shimura, Jin. Masako got kind of annoying. Yuna's cool, but she's like, okay. And I fucking love my horse, man. I feel like the horse in this game had some of the most, like, uh, emotion you could feel in the horse. Like, straight up. Like, he felt like a character that was with you. When you were sad, he, like, was there. When shit was going down, he was around, you know? Norio was good, too. Kenji was good. Fuck, man. What a game, dude. Definitely great. I think they've established this game and uh, can easily do a second one, and I hope they do. Let's just see what happens if you actually kill him. Spoilers, Ink. I'm actually going to leave the game on. Uh, is there a, uh, like a kill ending? Ghost of Tsushima. Uh... They say good and bad ending. Ghost I mean, of whatever that means. Wait, good and bad ending? Why is this guy giving a review? Oh, here we go. Both endings. The Shogun has declared you okay. To a traitor. So... He ordered you to kill me. Okay, this is let him live. The ghost was an outlaw. I'm glad we let him live. I think that was the way to do it. Death. Wait, what? Spare? Huh? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. That was the lead up and then it's spare and okay. I will make sure you are remembered as a great warrior, a wise leader. 
and the father. Thank you, my son. Find me in the next life. I will. Really good endings. Jin, I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do, now that Clan Sakai is gone. Oh, wait. And I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. I'm sorry. He's gone. I did what I had to. What matters oh. is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here. Okay. Yeah, I will say both endings are definitely well done. Like the way they were... The cinematography with that one was definitely awesome. Just seeing that. What a game, man. What a fucking game, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. What a damn game, bro. Oof. Crazy, man. Fucking crazy.